Hello, my name is Hilda and here I am introducing you to Harrow Club, my youth club. Here, I, t I here. Okay, can start again. Hello, my name is Dante and this is Harrow Club, my youth, my youth centre. Hello, my name is Hilda and as Dante said, this is our youth centre. Here, come and have a look. I'm going to tell you about Harrow Club history. At first, it was created by William Law. It started off as a church at, on January 1883 and till December 1889 as a church. As you can see, when you look at our club from outside, you can see like the mirror shows you that our church, like our youth club, was represented as a church. What I like about my youth club is that the amount of opportunity that it gives you to better yourself or better how your life's going. It gives you loads of activities to do, like boxing, basketball, football. Uh, they got a PS4 you can play. They go on trips. You could do football, boxing, cooking, um, many activities. The support from the staff is really good. Like if they hear you, if they hear something bad or whatever, they'll tell you to stop. Harrow Club is a place you can come to and you can just chill with your friends. This youth centre, it's great because it's very democratic and with um, it's not expensive. It offers the possibility to everyone. What I like about my area is that there's a lot of things to do, which keeps which stops us from getting in trouble. Like the local youth club, which has a football team as well. This is the Cuban boxing gym. Sessions run from Monday. The Monday, Tuesday, for the front whole week. People come here just to stay fit and box and just as a hobby. And they box in the, the ring. They warm the warm up. 20, 20 push ups, 20 star jumps, 20 knee tucks, 20 sit ups. I think I already said that. 20 calf raises and five minutes skipping. I uh, bet tenner, like most people can't do that. During the summer times when we have nice weather, we have a barbecue which everyone has to come and enjoy the local community. Then with projects for the young people that have come, we have plum trees and a cherry tree, which will be able to bring us fruit. So here we have the music booth where lots of um, older youths come and spit their b you would call it. And, um, and as you can see, it's not really up to shape at the moment because we're trying to improve it, but Soon enough, we'll just get we'll get, get get it running, and you can even come down too and spit some bars if you want. My area, it was crime populated, but it's a it's a died down a bit now. But it's all good, there's activities you can do, places you can visit. It's unbelievable, like got got Queensway, got Queensway down the road, you got Bush, Bush on there, that's on. Got Westfield, you got so many other different things that you could do with your kids, Hyde Park, so many other things. Like it's just it it would be difficult to be bored. There's a football pitch right there around the corner, Westway, where everyone plays football. How would you describe this area to other parts of London? I would describe this as a more family-friendly area. It's a, um, to me, it seems a little quieter. And again, you have the easy access of walking. I feel safe walking on the streets and taking the bus and coming to the park. Um, so I would describe it as sort of a safe, family-friendly area. I really love this area because it's where I grew up. I think the area has changed a lot and a lot of people have realised that there's a lot of money around here that hasn't actually been developed and people have started to try, kind of like bring new money into it and it's really changed the area so you've got all these bougie like coffee shops and cafes and really nice expensive restaurants but what I think about it is that it's quite sad because a lot of the local community that have been here from like back in the day they can't necessarily access or afford to access a lot of those those things that are now up and coming and part of the area. So I was living in uh uh, closer to High Street Kensington before, but uh, I like it here much more. It's more real and um, cool area.
football is one of the biggest things in Harrow Club. As you can see over here, they take it to heart as they got their own football team. Football can teach you respect for others and self-respect as well. And how to communicate better with others. I think um, football can teach you teamwork. It's like if you have a job and you need to work with people you don't know with, it's the same with football. In this area, it may look bad, but if you get to know people in the area, it's all one type of community and welcoming. The Harrow Club is actually an uh, exciting place to be. There's lots of activities. Maybe like you might want to do one of them activities. Um, be yourself, um, have fun and try new activities. Just come down here, introduce yourself, come with me, I'll show you around. It's all good. To be in a, a special... Special? <laughs> Someone interview me. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I don't know who's the best here. Trust. Well, hello. Here is Helda Mora Peter interviewing another... <laughs> what are you doing? Filming you. Are you weird guy? Is this, am, am I the area? No, look. What's your name? Can you please wait, young gentleman? Lots of activities in this area, such as going to the cinema or going skiing. Can you name some more? What, what, um, you can go KFC. <laughs> stay off the streets, stay out of trouble. If you know what I mean? Like, keep the opportunities coming. I'll be a brilliant youth, I trust. <laughs>